Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? This is Dr. Reverend Drenna Wells. <laughs> I gotta get used to saying that. <laughs> Drenna Wells. Um, I have some very, very cool announcement to make. I'm, I know I sound really tired and groggy. I don't know what it is. I was so freaking exhausted last night and slept really deep last night, like extremely deep. Like I didn't think I could, I would wake up, <laughs> but I'm okay. Um, however, I woke up to a really good message from one of my students, um, by the name of Bruce. I'm just, I kind of, you know, covering his last name because I'm trying to protect him. Um, anyway, I ended up getting a really awesome testimonial and I wanted to share it with you. And then I'm going to talk to you about some things after this. Okay. Um, the testimonial is... Hi, Joanna. You are quickly becoming one of my f very favorite people. I just found out that I was able to settle, wipe out a bunch of medical debts with a secure creditor, A for V, and sending a BOE to the IRS and my state treasury. I have a bunch more to go. You know that I settled about $6,000 in IRS debt, and now they are still coming after me for my penalties and interest. However, Using your info from your posted recording, I was able to default the IRS for those P and I. I'll let you know how it goes. I have some other interesting news. If you give me a call, I can tell you about it. You are so awesome. A big Merry Christmas to you and yours, Bruce. So there you have it in a nutshell. A for V is accepted for value. BOE is bill of exchange and you know to the IRS of course I you know who the IRS is <laughs> just trying to help you with the abbreviation now it was just so funny I don't know what it is it, it, I go through these I don't not mood swings I don't know if you call it mood swings and you know I, I get a lot of you know testimonials but then I get a lot of people that are like oh my gosh it's not working for me what am I doing wrong what what's going on you know <clears throat> and then that's why I ask a lot of my students, what is it that you are doing? Can you tell me, you know, step by step, what is going on with you? How are you doing this? And a lot of them, they're not getting the whole answer straight or they're not doing things properly. Um, I had one guy say, oh, I did an administrative process to Puerto Rico. And I'm like, okay, you don't do an administrative process to the treasury because we've already, you, you send your package out to the treasury you know, you do administrative process to a company. You know, so I get a lot of mixed information. However, I do get people too that are doing things correctly. And, you know, supposedly according to them, the acceptor for value is not working for them. So it's like, it seems like it's very a rare thing. And it does seem like it's a hit and miss when you're doing the A for V, even as a secure creditor. Um, and I'm telling you the truth. So, you know, for me, it took a while. It took a while for certain debts. Medical bills was easy. It was a piece of piece of piss. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting the English accent there. It's a piece of piss. He says. <laughs> I know it's starting to sound like you. And then, um, and also, I did an A for V for a uh, speeding ticket in California. I sent it right back to the court and got rid of it. Right. However, some of the other A for V's I tried doing, um, like, you know, child support in the past was not working at all. It was like, what the hell? And I've even sent a UCC one to them. I mean, it was not good. And this is years ago before I was able to advance my, uh, the information that I have now. So, um, it does seem like hit and miss. And, and I realize that, but I also realize that the people that are actually succeeding have a way, a different way of thinking. It's very interesting when you think about it. Because me, I, you know, I'm magical. I believe in magic in my, in my reality. I, I believe that my thoughts create my reality. Um, I can make things happen if I stay in that higher vibrational focus, that vibrational state. And if I picture myself, I, vi I see myself succeeding, things actually happen, okay? Not many people can do that which I completely acknowledge. I completely get that. Okay. And then you have your other group who are doing, who are doing what we're doing. And they're just like, they don't have that. They're like, yeah, let's see if this really works. Let's see if this is full of crap or if it's a scam or not. So they start off like that, you know, and I get a lot of, I have had a lot of clients that really had really bad attitudes. Um, there was a few people that had really bad attitudes um, just recently when they were signing up for the webinar and I had to kick back their money, I had to refund them. I'm like, I can't have people that are 
upset and angry or think that I'm scamming them. And, you know, they, like, because what happens is they have a lot of ba uh, baggage from other uh, experiences that they've had from other people that they've, you know, like other credit repair specialists or other people that claim to be secure creditors that are walking the path. And, and I'm talking about to a point where they actually steal their money, where they don't do the service. They say that they, they filed the UCC one for them and they don't hear nothing from them. They try to call, they try to send message like, can I see my UCC filing number? And they don't ever send it to them. That's a big time scam artist. I mean, if you want to know what a scam artist is, th there you have it, right? And anyway, so me, I always walk in honor. I always stay in honor. And, you know, you, you pay, you pay for a service, you're going to get the service, you're going to get the coaching if you paid for the coaching. But the moment you start acting, you have an attitude. It's like, you know what, if we didn't do your package already, and you haven't signed the terms or condition, sign the terms and conditions, or you have signed it, regardless, your attitude is crap, I'm going to tell you to get lost, because you're going to make me look bad. And I will take and I will refund your money. So this is nothing new. I had one guy that was like, you know, I'm not interested in anything you have to, you know, send me. But I'm like, okay, you read through the terms and conditions and you signed up and it was a thousand bucks, you know, for the, for the webinar. And he had such a bad attitude the whole time. This is before he ever got into the webinar because I do the webinar tonight. He never signed into the webinar. So I was like, what the heck you throw me that money for? So I actually had to, you know, send him his money back. I was like, I, I only want people that are positive. They're not, you know, like, you know, Mr. Scrooge, like attitudes, you know, because you're not going to go anywhere in life. Everything's gonna, going to be horrible for you, no matter what, whether you're doing this process, whether you're, you know, trying to get a job, whether you're, you know, trying to have a, a good relationship in your life. If you're constantly focusing on the down all the time, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to succeed at all. So that's what I feel. And I was talking to a good friend of mine. Uh, he goes by Jim last night. And he's, he's a student of mine. And you know, we were bouncing back information back and forth. And I'm like, I don't know. What do you think, Jim? What, what do you think it is? You know, why are, are some people having some success? They're using the tactics, same tactics, you know, some of them that are paying attention anyway. And there's just some that are not, you know, I, I like to know what's going on, you know, because I, I, I want that people to have success. And he said, well, what he believes is people give up too easily. They, you know, maybe they do an A for V and they say, oh, this don't work. This is, this is a bunch of crap. And then they just forget about it. They just let it go. And they say, oh, this don't work. They give up too easily. They don't, and, and, and what it starts with is they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in themselves enough or they don't believe that what they've read, what they heard is really true. They haven't really done their research, you know, they're, they haven't really done their due diligence in finding out that the United States corporation is actually a business. It's not a, it's a private corporation. Okay. And it's for profit. And so are your courts or your judges. Um, uh, all these entities or fictions are for profit companies. Okay. They're private. And so is the IRS, IRS as well. And they're all foreign. They're all foreign private corporations operating in the United States of America. Okay. So it can really be a mind F. I'm not going to say the bad word, you know, because kids could be watching this. It could be mind F for a lot of people. They don't get it. They don't, you know, for a long time when I first started on this path, it was very difficult for me to, to, to really get what was happening. And I'm like a fiction we're, walk, we're walking corporations. What the hell is going on? You know, and it was freaky. It was very frightening, but I, I still did my due diligence. I still did a lot of studying. Um, I went and took a lot of other classes, seminars, workshops. I studied under creditors and commerce. I studied under, well, a mentor of mine that actually took me away from there and, and started studying me, hit, uh, getting me to study with him, his, his uh, tactics and things, which taught me account science and, you know, how to communicate in account science terminology, not straw man, 
you know, terminology, which a lot of people are doing. They're they're calling them they're they're calling their name a straw man name. You know what I mean? It just doesn't sound right. He said, if you're going to communicate with these banks and these agencies, you got to start communicating in a in a level where they can understand what you're saying. You see, and, and it's all account science because whether it's a case, a judgment against you, it's all banking. It's all account science. So, I learned a lot of that. But yes, you know, getting back to, you know, communicating with my, 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 one of my really good students, Jim, and let me give you a background. He, um, he wiped out student loans. He was the one that, if you see on my testimonial, he wiped out thousands of dollars of student loans by pretty much doing what this, what Bruce has done. Um, he sent in his, you know, after he did the package and became a secure creditor, he went ahead and he sent his package to uh, the local treasury in his state, okay, which was the accepted for value. And I believe, I, I don't know if he did the bill of exchange or not. I think it was just the accepted for value, but he ended up putting it all on a nutshell. I mean, he put everything there. Let me see if I can find what he said. Uh, I don't remember. It's been, it's been quite a while. Okay. <laughs> now I can take this off. <laughs> um, let me see here. He did put oh, testimonials. Okay, need proof. Uh, okay, this is one guy. He ended up having a lot of success. Can't really read. But he said he had a lot of success with a deadly weapon ladder, was, which was really cool. Dealing with Capital One, he was able to wipe that out. Um, and wipe out, you know. And then this guy, he, uh, Conrad, he was able to wipe out mortgage off his credit. And uh, let me see. Okay. Mohella, this is my friend Jim. He was the one who wrote, who brought his account to zero. Okay. He had uh, quite a, a lot of, like about seven grand of uh, student loans, and he was able to wipe that out. So let me see here. Where did, I'm trying to find what he wrote a long time ago. It was a while ago. It was couple, uh, actually like last year or two years ago. Anyway, but he was able to do that, and so w with this, with this one, <laughs> uh, Bruce. <laughs> Sorry, but anyway, he basically he he wiped everything out. Okay, he wiped everything out, and um, he did very very well, and uh, pretty much did the tactics and everything. So yeah, whatever. Try and. Oh, I'm on screen. Ah, it's not going to work. Okay, never mind. Well, at least it doesn't show his email address because <laughs> I could really get in tr into trouble with that. But anyway, so he is, yeah, he had a lot of success. But anyways, um, when I was talking to Jim, the one that wiped out the uh, student loan, he was saying, you know, he was the one, all he did was he took it to the local treasury with a UCC1 and the A for V and he sent in the second package to vital statistics. And then that was all he had to do. He didn't have to do the administrative process. He didn't have to. And, and sometimes we're like thinking, well, God, you're lucky. Like what the heck, you know, why is it so easy for you to do this? Like for me, when I was dealing with a certain uh, agency, it took a long time. Like they wouldn't take the A for V. They wouldn't you know, they would test you, they keep testing and they would even go as far as so far as emailing me like, you know, you need to pay this debt. And I go, wait a second, according to California law, you need to be sending me letters, not freaking email. Okay, so whatever it is that you have an issue with, you need to send me send me it through a letter. And so finally, it took about three years for me to finally get it. And I, and I finally was able to wipe out a certain debt that's been plaguing me where I was living in fear every day, thinking that anytime they're going to pick me up and throw me in, in prison, it was horrible. And I was able to overcome that. So that took a long time. That took a while. Now, but see, I went through the administrative process. You know, I did a lot of stuff with that. But there's some of my students that are actually, you know, I would have to say, like maybe the 3% of my students, the three percenters, and they're very upbeat. They're upbeat. They have a very positive attitude. Um, they're very, they think differently. And a lot of them have businesses as well. And, but they are, they just have a, have a higher vibration of thinking. 
So anyway, it was really good news to hear this in the morning and see that, wow, the Safer V went through, bill of exchange, not a problem, sent to the IRS and my state treasury, you know, and, and it's just, I guess, knowing who you are and knowing real, and realizing that, hey, the system is is a lot of garbage. <laughs> it's, it's BS, what they've been teaching us. And it's it's kind of like a personal journey within your soul, within yourself, and realizing, hey, wait a second here, you know, who am I really? You know, am I here to be a slave and, and to be treated this way? And that's what happened with me. It was like, you know, I could have caved in, gave up, and just kept making pay and just made payments. You know what I mean? Knowing full well it was completely wrong. And what it was, it was child support. And I didn't see my daughter for many, many years. <clears throat> and then after like six or seven years or eight years, my ex came after me for child support. He was going out with a really, not a very nice woman at all. I believe she was a big instigator of this whole thing too. <clears throat> and um, pushed it a lot. You see, she wasn't there to help to try to reunite me and my daughter. She was just there to make things even worse, which made me go through horrible, horrible experiences emotionally. And so um, it, it was very, it was horrible. So it was like, they, they said, it doesn't matter. You still have to pay child support, whether you see her or not. And, and it, it was like, you know what? There's something very wrong. And, that, and that's when something just clicked. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do jack. I ain't going to do nothing until you, you let me see my daughter or let me talk to her, at least on the phone. Haven't talked to her or seen her since she was four years old. So how do you think I felt? Like, how would anyone feel knowing that you've been thrown out and kept away from your child? And then here comes child support. Even though you're trying to tell them your side of the story, they don't even give a crap. They're like, it doesn't matter. You need to pay. And I'm thinking, okay, I don't mind, but let me see or talk to my daughter. Can you work something out that way? And they just didn't give a shit. They didn't give a crap about it. So right then and there, I, w I was not one of the 99% the that were asleep, like, okay, yes, uh-huh, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. I'm going to go ahead and pay anyway. Oh, hell. You know what? I'd rather go to jail. You know what I mean? Like, you throw my ass in jail, I ain't going to do it unless you let me see and talk to my daughter because I knew very well where the money went. Well, one time, our money got taken out of our account, and it was through our taxes, you know, because my, my ex-husband, my second ex-husband at the time, he was in the military, so he was really, 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 vo you know, volunteering for all this, <laughs> this, uh, this uh, abuse, and so what happened was they went ahead and zapped money out of our account, it was about three grand came out of the uh, taxes, and nearly a thousand dollars went to them, didn't even go to my daughter, so that's when I started really pushing. I said, you know what, I can just totally cave in, give in, and just say, it's okay, I'll just roll over and, and have, have them walk all over me. Or I'm actually going to do something about it, you know? I'm going to keep fighting. I have to. And I found other ways and avenues in, in doing this. And it wasn't really fighting. It was just basically reminding them that I know who the hell I am and this is my new position. I'm a secure creditor. If you have an issue with me, I'll be very happy to settle the accounts with my signature because you have a bond that is connected. Okay. That is your corporation. Look at your freaking paper. Look at your birth certificate. Is it, it is on a bond paper, a security instrument. Okay. Um, Anyway, go ahead and check out all my other videos on it, especially because I go on and on and on and talk to you and tell you about all this. But a lot of you just don't get it. You don't believe it. You think it's a joke. You think it's funny. You think it's, um, you, believe you believe in the government, that the government's, ah, yeah, actually good, doing good for you, that they're here to help you, and yet they're vaccinating you. Oh, and I want to bring up about the vaccinations or something very important. A student told me, okay, very, very important. He just found out by using the UCC one that we, we uh, have taught him to do, because there's certain different types of UCCs, you know, uh, with the terminology that we input in, into the UCC one. He was able to halt and put a stop to the vaccines. He was able to use it. He used the UCC one and said, look, this is my, this is my kid or whatever. You know, they're, they're, they're collateral. They're, they're um, 
on my UCC1 as collateral. This is my property, so you're not going to stick them, you see. And they freaking backed away. They, they honored that. They, let, they said, okay, not a problem. So, you know, they're waiting for people that are actually going to take a stand. Like, if they even try to take your kids from you, but you got to do it before they come and take them. You don't do it after the fact, because when you give your kids away, and they say, oh, by the way, I'm a secure creditor, I want them back now. No, you, you just basically gave them away, okay? Do this before they even come knocking at your door to take your children. You say, look, this is my UCC1. They are collateral, okay? They are my property. Get the F off my lawn. And that's all you need to do. When you start talking that UCC jargon and account science, they're going to leave you alone, okay? So you have to take a stand. Now, a lot of you just don't believe in yourself. You're, you think that, oh, it, they're going to come and, and, and that's it. And, and, but I understand, I totally acknowledge that, you know, they use, they come in and they're going to use, they have guns. In the United States, they have real guns. They don't have, you know, stunning guns like they do in, in the UK. They have real guns. So you're, of course, right away, the, the first thing is fear. You're afraid they're going to shoot you. So to me, you know, it's like, you know, they can stick me or they can shoot me. You know what? Really, at this point, I really don't give a crap. Do what you got to do. You know, shoot me because I'm not going to allow you to put that needle in my arm. So you have to stand your ground and stand up for yourself and say, look, you know, I think uh, there's a misunderstanding here. Uh, you're communicating to you believe that you're communicating to a corporation. However, I am the authorization representative of this corporation, and I'm going to state right now that I that I am a living woman or living man, and this is the corporation that I'm running, and it's on uh, it's on my UCC one as as collateral. So therefore, I'm in control of this. There's a full lien on this UCC one, along with my property, along with my children, and people that I love. And you're not going to stick them or you're not going to come and take them away. So this is why we do this. It's so important. Now, if, and I mean if, say a long time ago, say if I would have, if I would have given in to a lot of the negative comments on YouTube years ago, because I've been on YouTube since 2008. I had another uh, channel uh, by youtube.com slash Joanna. And there were times I wanted to give up and say, you know, this is all bull. No one's going to believe me and whatever. And just like a lot of my students are going through right now, they're going through the same thing where they actually are having success. They're trying to share this with their friends and their family, and they look at them like they're crazy, like it's all hokey. So if I, you know, back then, if I would have given in to the, all the bad comments and people talking crap about me and whatever, I would have not helped as many people as I'm helping now, okay? And not only that, if... None of this was working at all. I would not be here this long doing what I'm doing. If first, if everything was crap that I'm doing, okay, I'm getting no success at all. I'm hearing no success stories or no successful testimonials. I would have given this crap up a long time ago. I would have said, you know what? You know, maybe they are right. Maybe this is a bunch of BS. You know, I'm going to go do something else. This is not working, okay? But for some reason... The universe, whether you want to call it God or goddess or who knows what you want to call it, the aliens, extraterrestrials, it's it's funny because whenever I, I get to that point and I'm like, you know what, I don't know, I just want to, I, I just want to go do something else. And a lot of my viewers, my nice listeners out there, have have watched me throughout the years, kind of going through my ups and downs there because of the brutality comments I have been receiving in the past, and you know, like you know. I, I'm just so, I'm sick of it. I'm ready to move on, you know? And then all of a sudden out of the blue, and I was kind of feeling like that last night. I was like, you know, I think, you know, I'm ready to just, I want to just focus on law of attraction, you know, people that are sick, are, are, are positive, you know, they know that, th that their, their minds, they can create whatever they want. They just got to uh, imagine and visualize. I want to hang out with a group like that. You know, I want to be around optimistic people. I don't want to be around people that are like, oh my, you know, that they're, they're um, going through so much negativity and then they expect me to save them and, and I can't, I can't save them. And all I can do is teach them to save themselves 
because I'm not Jesus Christ, okay? I'm not um, Buddha. I'm not, I'm not this big hero, superhero that's going to save you. You have to do it yourself. I can only be a guide for you, okay? And you're going to have to walk that path if you believe in yourself enough to do so. It, you know, this path is not for everyone. And that's why I'm not just, I'm not a credit re repair specialist. I'm definitely not a lawyer. I'm definitely not a medical PhD doctor that's going to do surgery or whatever. I am a metaphysical doctor doctor and talk about metaphysics and doctor means to teach in Latin, by the way. So that's what I do. Okay. Um, but apparently I wake up in the morning and this is what I see. It always happens that way. Doesn't it, hun? It always happens that way. It's like, there's times I'm just like, you know, I'm just ready to walk. I, you know, it's going to be probably the last one that I'm going to do. I, you know, I'm going to be doing something else because I want to start training people to create their own businesses and start focusing on positive energy and, and utilizing the laws of attraction and all that because, you know, very positive people. But I, for some reason, it's like the universe keeps saying, nope, you can't move on yet. <laughs> you still have work to do. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm continuing. I have to continue and share this information because it is important. You have to wake up. You've got to wake up from this nightmare. And it does begin with your thoughts. You have to start reprogramming your brain. You got to start reprogramming your mindset. Start listening to subliminals. And this is the area my husband specializes in. He creates a bunch of subliminals with a lot of positive affirmations that you can listen to um, right before you go to bed, um, right when you wake up in the morning, or even throughout the day, or even all night long. Anything to reprogram that mind, that subconscious mind into believing that you're successful, anything is possible, you know, because you're being bombarded with a lot of programming from the, the media that you're not good enough, that you're not, you're not skinny enough, you know, you're not good looking enough, you know, you're not rich enough, you know, you're not, you're not enough. And I'm here to tell you that, yes, you are enough. You are enough. You're more than enough. You're limitless. But you have to, you know, maybe if you, you, you know, you're like researchers like I am, you know, you got to under, understand or uh, comprehend the mechanics of how things work and, you know, start doing some research. And the best thing to do is start studying very rich people. You know, I'm not talking about the really way up there people that are in, even in control of a lot of the rich people. Okay. You know who I'm talking about. I don't want to go there, but I'm talking about people that are very successful, self-made millionaires. You know, um, Donald Trump is one of them. Uh, Harvey Ecker, Jack Canfield, Napoleon Hill, um, Plenty. There's plenty of them out there that I'm not naming right now. Bob Proctor, one of my favorite, one of our favorites. You know, uh, John Asaroff. He's my mentor, my new mentor now, and he he's been out an absolutely wonderful co coach to help reprogram the mind and reprogram your thinking. You need to get involved in, in, in with those people and get inspired and read their books and know that yes, there is something possible. This is beyond just paperwork. It's, it has to do with energy. It has to do with creating your reality. Whew. Another thing I wanted to mention, we have a parallel universe group, okay? Parallel universe group. And it's a, it was a parallel universe slash Mandela effects group. I decided to change Mandela effects and kick that out of there. There's a reason why, why I decided to do that, okay? There's too much focus and emphasis on what is going wrong with the universe. You know, Mandela effect, oh my God, he just came back from the dead or, and he died again, or, you know, um, something, something's uh, wrong with a, with a map and something's wrong with the organs of our bodies. And, you know, it's always something wrong. And I decided to kick that out because I don't believe in that. There's nothing wrong going on. There's only something amazing and brilliant going on. And that is the acknowledgement that, yes, we live in parallel universes. Yes, we live in a holographic universe. Yes, possibly. I don't know for sure. But there was um, a man that was talking about that we're, we're like computer codes, just like your browser, that we're living in a computer code matrix type reality, okay? Um, according to Bashar, this reality that we're living in right now is just a dream that when we go to sleep, we are actually living in the real world, okay? Uh, according to my daughter, according to her experience and her, 
you know, her dream and her experiences with other extraterrestrial beings, we live on a, on a spaceship. And therefore, when we go to sleep, we, this is the dream here. So with that being said, if, if we live in a hologram and, and we live in a, and, and it's quantum physics, you know, everything's uh, filled with quantum mechanics and numbers and codes and all that, then in, in your thoughts, how your thoughts can actually create your reality, and it can also affect water, by the way. You need to check out um, Emoto, okay? Look him up, Emoto. And he talked about water, how, you know, uh, he would do experiment with, um, with water, and he would actually direct uh, thoughts to this water, okay? What was his name? Emoto, Masaru Emoto. I don't know exactly his name, um, Emoto water experiments. Let's see. I want to. I want to get the full name for you. Okay, Masaru Emoto, Misaro Emoto. <clears throat> but anyway, he would talk about water, and each um, thought would create a specific crystal. Okay, um, like love and gratitude. Here you go. If you're focusing lo on love and gratitude, and you're putting projecting that energy out there. This is exactly what you're getting, a beautiful crystal. If you're projecting ugliness, negativity, okay, heartbreak. Here's one, heartbreak. This is what you get. It looks distorted, okay? Um, this one right here, here's a crystal here. It says, exposed to words like, you make me sick, I will kill you typed on paper, pasted on the bottle. This is what the freaking water looks like, the molecular structure of the water, okay? Um, yeah, this is real pretty. This one's really nice. This one, this one is one world healing, you know, sending out healing, positivity, and just your thoughts of that has definitely shifted the molecular structure of the water to make it look like a little snowflake. It's so pretty. Here's another one. Tra my transformation. Um, so, you know, when I, uh, look him up, uh, Masaru Emoto. This is a scientific experiment. So imagine if you're th in your thoughts, now think about it, you're created, you're like 90% water, okay? And whenever you throw these thoughts, that, which are frequencies, out into the universe, you know, if it can affect water in this way, imagine t what you are doing to yourself and imagine what you're doing to your paperwork and your belief about you know, about yourself, about finances, about money, about debt, and about your paperwork and if it works or not, and the way that you communicate with yourself on a daily basis. So, you know, to me, and in, in, in ta in talking to one of my students, Jim, who is very optimistic a lot of times and who actually did wipe out his student loans, he, he said it there. He said, it has a lot to do with your mindset, your thoughts you know, how you think. And if you think in a d different negative way, then you're not going to see any results. So, you know, learning about this, this path about being a secure creditor is also a very magical spiritual journey in itself. It's not just, it's completely different from law. It's completely different from credit repair. This is a real spiritual journey within yourself. The more aware you become, the more that you reach that plateau of awareness, you're going to start noticing things are going to shift around you, okay? There's a really interesting video from Bashar, State of Being. Watch that video, okay? He talks about, he says, Circumstances don't matter, only the state of being matters. So no matter what, how, if you change within yourself and you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to constantly focus on positive energy and focus on success in my life and, and that I'm doing very well and I'm being healed and imagining uh, like tons of healing energy over me and you're focusing on that and, and all of a sudden you know, even though he says, even though you've changed, you feel better, and then you open your eyes and you see your outer circumstances being the same, that does not matter. It's the state of being that matters because within time, within time, things are going to start changing. And it's how you respond, how you emotionally respond to certain uh, stimuli. 
So you, you have the choice to respond to certain stimuli in a very positive way or in a very negative way. So that, with that being said, you're always the one in control and the, always the one in power. So what I do with my students is I tell them, you know, it's good to always send them a debt validation letter just to question them, you know, it, not to be at war with them, but to question them, to validate their side of uh, if they have an account summary, not account summary, but if they have, you know, a certified final forensic internal audit of the account, um, not an account summary. And they're so used to sending you account summaries. Account summaries are made up debt. They can punch anything on a computer and say, oh, this is what you owe. But a certified final, in a certified internal um, audit trail, okay, a certified audit trail will show that the company's been audited, they're paying their taxes, and so forth, that they actually have their paperwork in place. Um, so you deal with them in a different way. You don't cave in, you don't just go pay debt, or whatever, you actually question them. Can you please prove that there's a debt? You know, and the more and more that you become more knowledgeable in this, things start to change. I mean, I've been doing the secure creditor thing since 2009, 2010, when I did my first A for V, so I've been doing this for many, many, many years, okay? I've been doing this for a long time. And I remember, I remember one time I learned the accepted for value tactic. It was so funny from just a video of this guy. It was a blonde guy with long hair. And out of the blue, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it was for my medical bills. And I just did it, and it was all in black. I did it the way he showed me. And it was the most basic way. And we, we teach more of the advanced way, but, and it worked. I sent it out. I believed in it and it worked. Okay. That's how powerful I was at that time. It was like, I just believed it. It just clicked with me. I just knew it wasn't like, oh, this, this person's just trying to show some stuff. You know, if you, you're going to keep thinking like that, and, and then you give up, then forget about it. This is not your path. You know, you're going to have to seek legal counsel. You're going to have to seek credit repair specialists. So, I mean, for me, it was like, it was a whole world, a, a new world before my eyes that completely changed and everything clicked. Another thing you would want to do is I want you to learn what the HJR 192 is. It's the House Joint Resolution. It, it was the executive order, okay? This is for all secure creditors. Look it up, House Joint Resolution 192. This is what happened when um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Franklin D. Roosevelt, I can't say his name really, he actually put this out there on June 5th, 1933, that everybody was supposed to give back their gold in return for funny money with nothing backed up. And people did it. They went ahead, they gave away their gold, just like they give away their children nowadays. Oh, not a problem. You're the government. You got a badge. Take my kids. Not a problem. Okay. And they did that with their gold. And so, but there is a clause in here that you need to study that helps those that this deals with public debt only. Public debt, because they knew that they took away your money, they knew that. How the hell are you going to pay for your freaking public debt if they took your freaking money from you? They took your gold and silver, which was part of the Constitution. And it says in the Constitution, there is no other type of currency but gold and silver. Go ahead and look. I'm not making this up, guys. And they take everything away and they say, oh, you're going to have to pay your debt. Wait a second. Whose debt is this? It's the debt of the United States Corporation. Not you guys. You're not the debtors. You know, you, you have to realize that. So, but they did give us this, the House Joint Resolution. For those of you who are awake, like us, secure creditors, they, real, they, they put it out there saying, well, they realize that every, you know, that we know that you cannot pay with your, uh, with, with, um, you know, pay with any real money, true money, true money that's backed up by real gold and silver. So therefore you can pay now, obviously with your credit and your credit is connected to your, your birth certificate bond, your signature. Okay. That's credit. Credit is not FRN notes. That's debt notes. Those are debt notes. Credit is your signature, which is connected again to your bond. Look it up. House Joint Resolution 192 gave us 
the right to do so, okay? Um, you're going to have to read it. It's early in the morning for me. Do the homework. Executive Order of 1933, House Joint Resolution 192. Do the homework, okay? So going back to my student here who was successful, and I'm happy for him. And because of that, that just keeps me more inspired, gets me more inspired to say, you know what, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I don't give a crap what people say about me on YouTube anymore. If they make videos, they want to poke fun. The testimonial speaks for itself, okay? The testimonial speaks for itself. There's nothing else I can do or say. And it's entirely up to you whether you want to believe it or not. That is entirely up to you, okay? You know, whatever you believe, I'm going to tell you straight up. Whatever you believe is right. If you believe that this is hokey, you're right. If you believe this is crap, you're right. If you believe this is real, you're right. Why? Because your beliefs are that powerful. Link it to the freaking um, the water crystals, okay? Your belief is always right. So don't believe a damn thing that I say. And I suggest that you, do, you don't believe a thing I say. I suggest you do your own research and figure it out on your own. Don't believe a damn thing I say. Just know that, for one, I am telling the truth about the testimonial. But for me to say it all works, I can't prove that to you completely until you do it yourself. All I can do is prove it with testimonials, what other people are talking about, okay? I've actually proved in the past when I was living in the States of all the thing, all the, the debt coming off, my credit report, it was awesome. And then all of a sudden when child support hit, then I, I was like, wow, okay, this is a bigger monster I have to handle and deal with. And that took a long time. But all the other little debts, medical bills, all that, that's stupid stuff. That's retarded. That's simple, okay? That's public debt, which is tied to House Joint Resolution 1933. Look it up if you think I'm full of crap, okay? So anyway, good news, everybody. I have a lot of questions uh, about the next webinar that's coming up. Um, we decided to move the webinar for February. We, uh, the, the December webinar is already done, it's sold out. So we're gonna move the next webinar for February. So if you're one of the, the few, only the few, I'm only looking for the few that are positive people, positive-minded people, okay? Um, you Start reading the book right now if you're not. The Science of Getting Rich, Think and Grow Rich. Um, Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, you Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor. I love that book, You Were Born Rich, because you all are, with or without a birth certificate. You're born rich, okay? Um, read those books before you sign up for my class if you decide to sign up for my class for, for February. Please do that. Please do that because you're going to learn so much. If, if you're going to read any book and you got to pick one book at a time, okay, read The Science of Getting Rich. It is only 70 pages. Please read that book. Start only focusing on what is positive in life. Stop focusing on debt. Stop focusing on oh my God, I got debt, I'm a bad person. Oh, I got my credit scores crap, I'm a bad person, I'm horrible. Stop focusing on that because number one, that's one thing I can say, we are having a lot of success in clearing out the um, credit report. Uh, the, if anything, if, if there's, a, you know, for having issues with student loans or other, or, or other things like IRS, because those can be hard, or a car loan, that can be very difficult. Okay, by the way. If anything, we are doing very well in clearing out the credit reports. Credit reports are very good, okay? The, the credit reports are moving, are moving up from like a 500, 400 to like six to 700, okay? So we're doing really good in that area. A lot more people, because why? They believe in the credit reports. They believe in that more than anything, because why? There's already credit repair specialists. So of course, in their mind, they're like, well, you know, this credit repair does work. I've had seen some evidence, but you know, I want to see what she does. Of course, it's going to work because you believe it. Okay. You believe it enough, but sending out A for V's and discharging debt, you're going to have, you're going to have a lot of doubt. You don't know. This is new for you. It, it, it's, you know, so like I suggest, please read The Science of Getting Rich and, you know, you can start signing up in, um, 
I would prefer January because we'll be coming back for our, from our trip. Um, so sign up uh, early January. We'll let you know when to start signing up for the for the webinar. We're only going to be taking 20 to 22 people, okay? We prefer only a small group. We don't want 50 to 60. We don't want a big group because that means I have to stay on the phone that much longer, like 10 hours, <laughs> okay? So it's better, and, and not only that, I want to be able to pay more attention to each and everyone's stories. I don't want to rush you through. So we're only taking 22 people, okay, for this uh, webinar that's coming up in February. So actually, if you want to sign up, um, let's see. I mean, you can sign up early if you like, okay? But <clears throat> let's see, where is the, uh, you go to illuminatingmindsinc.com and you go under SPC webinars and everything is right here for February. Now, the thing is we got to work on the, t the terms and conditions. I got to change that around a little bit for you guys. So, I mean, if you want to sign up, that's fine. You can sign up now uh, or you can just wait till January, um, January 8th. You can start signing up. The seats do fill up fast. I'm letting you know that right now. We are only taking 22 people, okay? That's it. We don't want to take any more than that. So I'm actually going to specify this. If you want to learn about what we do, go to securecreditor.com and all the information is there for you. Now, I do specify, and a lot of you are probably joking or like, oh my gosh, she's a little too hard on us. <clears throat> we are international private bankers because that's what we are. When you start to acknowledge that you're a secure creditor, you are also a banker. You're a private banker. You settle the accounts with your signature you're, because you become the creditor, okay? Operating under in international law, we do not operate in the USA Incorporated, so we are not of the Corporation of the United States. We realize that we are foreigners, just like you all are, and you don't realize it. We all are. We are as secure creditors, but we realize that. We teach others who are ready to be private bankers and secure creditors on how to operate on the private side and reclaim their bonds and create bonds. And, you know, of course, discharge debt as well and handle and communicate with them, um, with the account, with the agencies by utilizing account science terminology. We are not, however, we are not the Salvation Army. We are not a sovereign citizens group. We are not a hospital, we are not lawyers, we are not the police or the Red Cross. If you are in need of shelter, money, or are in danger in any way, do not contact us. Call 911. Call the medical team or the suicidal hotline. We only deal with responsible, respectable, and honorable adults who are in the proper mindset to operate as a private banker or secure creditor. Any form of disrespect, we refund your money as we have in the past. That is if we haven't done your package already. That is if you haven't gained access into our e-course already or webinar already. We will give you a refund. We really don't like dealing with people that are disrespectful, okay? Because number one, it's going to affect your process and it's going to affect our relationship in the group. Any form of disrespect, we refund your money as we have in the past, and we still do. We do not have the tolerance to deal with ignorant, victim-minded souls. Work on yourself first. And by working on yourself first, what you can start doing, you can join the face, our Facebook group. It's really awesome. It's taking off. And it is called <clears throat> Mastermind for Success. Mastermind for Success. You can find it, Mastermind 4, the number 4, Success. And uh, the title's a little different here, Mastermind for Success, which is F-O-R. But the if you want to look for the group, it's Mastermind 4 with the number 4, Success. And what we do here is we actually train the victim-minded people who are like, oh, I'm not good enough. I don't know who I am. You know, my gosh, what am I going to do? Oh, doom and gloom, the end of the world. We actually help train those. And, and it's a free group. Um, you get a lot of support. A lot of interesting people have joined. Um, already, we got 166 members. We just started the group two days ago. And, you know, we teach other people how to create uh, vision boards, how to think differently, what types of books to read, you know, start to move into a higher vibration. 
And once you really start doing that, you're going to start seeing things coming off your credit report, especially things are just going to start changing for you when you use the secure creditor process. So it does go hand in hand. It really does. You know, your thoughts do change everything. Okay. You have to have a little bit of hope there or a little bit of faith. Faith is even more powerful. Having that faith and belief that, you know what, if this is true and this is true, which I'm seeing evidence of it, that, you know, the United States is a corporation, Arkansas is a corporation by looking, checking, looking it up on DBA, you know, doing business as, um, and our money, it's a federal reserve note. It's not backed up. It's only backed by, um, the, the, the faith and credit of the people, faith and credit of the people of their slavery, of working so hard, you know, to create these Federal Reserve notes, and it's not backed up by gold and silver, then there's got to be something to it. But if you're not there, if you think it's all hokey, save us, please save us time. Please move away and go somewhere else. Be a dark cloud unto yourself, okay? We're only dealing with serious inquiries. All right, you guys. So anyways, if this... um. If this uh, testimonial is not enough for you, then that's okay. This is not for you either. All right. Love and light to you all. You guys have a wonderful week. And if you would like to sign up for the next webinar, uh, please do so. That's fine. Um, again, we're only taking 22 people. And that's it. 22 people. Take care. Bye-bye.